Community workshop is being held for the public to raise awareness of elder abuse and elder scam prevention. So here to talk more about the workshop and the latest scams to target our elder community is City Council Mentor member Marnie Von Wolfer. Marnie, good morning. Thanks so much for being here. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. This unfortunately is something we see year round, a target of our elder community. Tell us a little bit about the workshop that's coming up and why there was a need for this. Yeah, so I'm very honored to be partnering with our district attorney, Summer Seffin, our county supervisor, Joel Anderson, and our Rancho Bernardo Sunrise Rotary Club to put together a workshop to raise awareness about elder abuse and elder scams. You know, during the pandemic, our seniors were completely isolated mm -hmm. and often fell prey to abusers and scammers who would call them with fake financial offers or, or call them and say, your grandchild is in jail, we need you to bring money now. And so we want to make sure that the public is aware of the abuse and the scam seniors face and tell them what to do about it if they see it. Right, because part of that is knowing what resources are available to you if you do feel that you are part of a scam. So what, what will be there for, for people to do, for seniors to do? So we're going to have experts from around the county, uh, deputy district attorneys, we're going to have members of the city council, uh, myself, we're gonna also going to have members from Joel Anderson's office to really raise awareness about the 10,000 cases we see every year around the county about senior scams and abuse. So some of the prosecutors will be there. We're going to give information about how cases get prosecuted, how you can get information to the district attorney's office or the city attorney's office, and give information about the basic scams and trends we're seeing so that if you have a senior in your life who calls and says, hey, I got a call from the IRS demanding money over the phone or my social security number is getting hacked, we'll be able to tell other adults around them, call our offices immediately so we can prevent your senior from being scammed. Right. My mom will always show me emails and I'm like, nope, delete that. So yep. you have to have somebody else, I, I think, in your life to bounce those questions off of if you have questions. And sometimes seniors, unfortunately, don't. So this gives them some resources to be able to call and say, is this legitimate or not? Mm -hmm. What are some of the biggest scams that you're seeing right now? So right now, since tax season has started, mm. there's a lot of scammers calling seniors and pretending to be an IRS agent, pretending that they have authority to jail seniors. No one is going to call you over the phone and ask for a payment over the phone. No government official will ever demand payment immediately. So we're telling seniors don't get duped by the tax scams. Uh, seniors are getting emails saying that, oh, your granddaughter, your grandchild has been arrested or is in a foreign country and we need you to immediately send bond money through a Walmart gift card. We also promise seniors no government official is going to ask for money to be sent through gift cards, Visa, Walmart, any of that. So if you have a senior in your life who suddenly says, I have to go to Walmart or to Vons and get a gift card to pay off a debt, that is a huge red flag and we urge you to call the DA's office or the city attorney's office immediately. Okay. So this is taking place next Wednesday, right, from 5.30 to 7 p.m.? Mm -hmm. Yep, at the Ranch Barado Country Club. Okay. And do people need to register ahead of the event or can seniors to show up. Yep. No, you don't need to register in advance. We'd love for you if you can, uh, just so we know how many people are coming. I know Supervisor Joel Anderson has an RSVP link on his website, uh, but please do come. Uh, we'd love to see you there and you know, get the awareness out in the community about how to protect our senior citizens. If you're a caretaker of a senior who maybe it's, it's difficult for them to get down there and be a part of this meeting, are, are you welcome to come? Yes. Okay. Oh, people of all ages are welcome to come. You know, it really takes the whole community right. to look out for our senior citizens who are some of the most vulnerable. So everyone of all ages, we welcome grandkids, caretakers, and grandparents themselves. Okay. Council Member Marnie Von Wolpert, thank you so much for the information this morning and for doing this to protect our seniors. We'll have all that information on our website as well.